open. But I wanted to explore with you, I think I'll go to tiddlywiki.com. Um, I'm on a Windows machine for some reason, and it's really hard. Um, I wanted to explore with you this concept of tags, which we've been talking about um, from the very beginning. Um, but also tags, tagging, and the, there's three operators I want to get at. I want to get at tags, tag, and tagging. And also talk about references and lists. Um, does it make, do those five words make sense to you to kind of talk about in the same conversation? Tags, tagging, tagged. What was the other one? <laughs> Tag, right. Tag. No, that, that's awesome. Because um, I get so confused sometimes, and there, it, the differences between them are critically important. So um, I'm just jotting down. So your, the first comment, your first bit was tags and why are they special? Yeah. Um, so let me speak very briefly about that. The um, one of the things about the tag implementation in Tiddlywiki five and in Tiddlywiki Classic is essentially the same, and it's been there right since the beginning. And um, unlike, it is one of the features in Tiddlywiki that is designed deliberately to closely resemble features of um, online platforms that users are already familiar with. So at the time of Tiddlywiki's development, there was Flickr, um, uh, we, we talked about on a previous session, which was a well-known site for um, uh, showing your photographs. And one of the features it offered was tags. And so in, in the original Tiddlywiki, I tried to as closely as possible um, I, it, have the same functionality. And so the, the idea in my head was that tags were an entry point to a more general idea that there are a specific implementation of the idea of metadata. So TiddlyWiki wants you to think of a tiddler as a single text, but in fact, as you know, we've established long ago, a tiddler is a collection of fields. And so therefore, it's, and we choose to think of them as being a text field and a bunch of metadata about that text field. And the computer, you know, from a computer science perspective, we know how powerful metadata is. But you see how tags then become a kind of gateway drug to the full power of TiddlyWiki's metadata, which, as we've talked about before, um, provides the combinations of fields, linking, transclusion, etc., provides an incredibly rich array of primitives that you can use to structure data. Um, most of those primitives you need to kind of build for yourself. You need to build the user interface for them. So if you establish a field, you know, a convention for a field called chicken, um, which uh, points, which has the title of a tiddler that's tagged chicken in it or something like that, you'd have to provide your own user interface for it. Mm -hmm. Whereas the metadata facilities embodied in tags, you get a canned user interface. And to boot, that user interface closely resembles established interfaces we see elsewhere. Okay. So that's really the answer to, to, to your question about tags. That They're special for me in terms of helping people to initially understand TiddlyWiki. And the technique they use to do that is by providing a specific capability that hides some of its implementation details, but that those implementation details, once you learn them, have a generality that make you realize that this thing you first encountered, in this case tags, is but a specific case of a general category of things. So in principle, perhaps difficult in practice, but if you wanted to have tags and zags, could you essentially copy the entire tagging structure, yes. name it to zag, and then make changes, and you could have every tiddler both have some tags yeah. hanging out and some zags hanging out. Yeah. And there, there is repeated work, I mean, repeated interest in that idea in having a secondary tags field. And yes. um, over the years, we've made a number of changes to the core to handle it. 
as it turns out, for me, the jury is out whether it's better to have multiple tags fields or whether it's better to have prefixes on tags mm -hmm. that distinguishes their type. And obviously, in, in some sense, those are equivalent representations. Um, and so the which one is better is largely a matter of the sort of ease of computing with them within the TiddlyWiki interface. So, Kira, did you see how, like, if you had multiple tag structures running, it would be crazy. Yeah. Be crazy. <laughs> be crazy. But I, I, one of the reasons why it crops up okay. I think, for many people is that you rapidly realize that TiddlyWiki uses tags, as is typical, for several things. So it uses TiddlyWiki for things, it uses, sorry, <laughs> tags to say, I'm a style sheet. Um, and you're familiar with that. You use dollar colon slash tags slash um, style sheet and then magically the contents of that tiddler is interpreted as a uh, as a style sheet so that means that the for many users a frustration with tiddlywiki is that tag space if i can call it that is polluted that what they see on their tiddlers is both the tags that they've put there because they carry important meaning and the tags that the system sort of requires the cost of doing business within tiddlywiki and that so, i agree with there's, and there's ways to hide tags to not show them but exactly so so this i think this idea of a secondary tags field is an attractive way to sort of visualize a possible solution but it's clearly not the only solution right. um, okay. and in some ways um, in you know, some ways, it, it makes it harder to then reuse um, some existing infrastructure for the tags. And don't forget that all of this really is about convention. So TiddlyWiki being an open source project, it, it benefits from interoperability. So we could all have our own you know, different tags implementations, but by investing quite a lot of the, in the implementation of tags to make it smooth, we ensure that people are very likely to use tags if they use any kind of metadata at all, which in turn, you know, improves um, in, oh, sorry, interoperability is a bit of a... So I was wondering if you might give us some clues, because we've got these tags, tagging, tagged thing. And, yes, let's talk about that. And, I know, for, and, and I, I know that by going through some of these very specific things, we will uncover the really interesting philosophical, if you will, or, or broader. I hope so. I hope so. And we might even touch on um, Ted Nelson's ZZ structure. If, yeah. we're, if we get there. If we get that far. <laughs> okay. so, um, so the first thing, what I described at, in that first chunk was how TiddlyWiki's tagging implementation was modeled on that of Flickr and other yep. What, um, again, somebody else in the community pointed out, but it was never exactly a secret, but it was, it kind of felt like a discovery, I think lots of people were excited, um, was this idea that, that is called tagly tagging. Yes. So um, it's yet another piece of neologizing, um, and um, we're joyfully um, uh, enjoying the fact that um, the word tag is a, I guess it's a verb, it's a noun, I don't know what else it might be. Um, so a bit like um, one's favorite expletives, there are a variety of different ways of using the word and um, then uh, one of a, a, perhaps a failing that's not mine alone is to kind of enjoy that ambiguity. You know, it's almost like a, like a techie engineering joke. So within TiddlyWiki Classic, there were two vitally important internal structures. So these were two of four things. One was called the store, and one was called the story. And great mistake, I think, that to have words that caused so much problem to people for whom English was not their first language. But the motivation there, the sort of, you know, thinking there's something symmetrical and nice about that reuse, I think is a very typical developer point. Okay, so tagly tagging, the insight of tagly tagging was incredibly simple. It was that you could choose by convention to decide um, to treat the text of a tag assigned to a tiddler as though it was the title of another tiddler. So the first thing that gives us that's powerful is a very simple convention for where we describe tags. So you're looking at this tiddler, you could tag it conversation 
And then you could create a tiddler called conversation that says tiddlers tagged conversation are those, you know, rabbiting on between blah, blah, blah. And uh, say, so, yeah, brilliant. And so now if we... Uh, Uh, what Steve's done there is he's navigated from a tiddler that was tagged with conversation today to the actual tiddler conversation today. It's in italics because it doesn't exist yet, um, which brings you know, the classic wiki thing that all tiddlers exist as missing tiddlers, <laughs> literally an infinite variety of them. Uh, um, so now here we could describe what the conversation today tag is about who you know reminders to yourself about where you should put it perhaps you might put a list links macro in here to list the um tiddlers that have that tag right and so, I, yes so so there's two elements here there's the convention of treating a, t a, a tag as if it was a tiddler title um, and there's the user interface mechanism to permit you to treat that as a link. Um, and you get that, as we saw, by clicking on the tag dropdown. So that tag dropdown, if you can go and click on Conversation Today again. Um, so, right, so we've got two parts here. At the top is a single tiddler, which is, again, and you just clicked on, but this time, if you click on it, it takes you to that tiddler, as you just saw um, Steve doing. And then below the line, there's then a list of all of the tiddlers that carry that tag, right. including the one that we're on. So if you created another, uh, so in fact, on, on the more menu, an interesting thing to do is to say new here. That will automatically create, oh, <laughs> sorry, I meant to say clone, <laughs> but it's... Oh. Um, <laughs> Um, so clone um, uh, merely makes a copy of the current tiddler. So it's the easy way to get another tiddler that also has the tag conversation today. And then one changes its title, one changes its text. But yeah, exactly. Don't bother from, if you just click OK. Yeah, and then we, if we now look at the conversation today drop down, we can see that second tiddler is now listed there, rather this second tiddler. So that's the. Um, uh, the, the, how can I put it? I guess the, the, the first capability that we get from treating um, uh, tiddlers, sorry, tags as tiddlers. And it's this ability to navigate from a thing with a tag to the tag. Mm -hmm. And actually, conceptually, if you think about it, that's pretty powerful. It's um, twisting your perspective from the specific item that you're looking at to one of the um, uh, you know, categories in which it falls, one of the platonic ideals that it represents a specific instance of. Yeah, and I tagly, I, I named a macro that I use here, which is basically a list links as tagly. I probably shouldn't have because it was disrespectful to the concept. Well, no, tagly, the, word, the tagly word does have its only meaning within the TiddlyWiki universe is as part of the phrase tagly tagging yeah. which is a jokey word for all these facilities. So in fact, um, Tagli is up for grabs. We could retrospectively decide that yeah. Tagli meant the feeling of exhaustion when you navigate a tiddly wiki with too many tags or something. <laughs> right, so, so I, I get the tag and I think it pretty much we get that. So this displays the tags that belong to this tiddler. Yeah, so immediately under the subtitle with your name, we'd get a, a list of those sausages, one for each tag. And you, as we discussed before, you're unusual because you use those tag, so well, they're called tag pills, not tag sausages. You use them as part of your narrative text, which is one of the wonderful you know, e e explorations that you're doing. Yeah. But for most people, yeah. they're just that up there at the top of the tiddler. I see, okay. But then there's this other thing called tagging which obviously doesn't work like the way I've described it in this macro on the screen. But um, so when we go to the info of a tiddler and we ask the questions tagging, it says, well, oh, I'm on the wrong tiddler. I want to get to um, my conversation today. Um, and we go to the info and we ask tagging. 
that's the same as if we put a macro in and say tag. Is this correct? Yeah, that's correct. Yeah. But if we and maybe this is just because I'm being well. It's, it's, sorry, it's it's the same as your list links macro. Um, but the, I don't believe that there is a. Is there a tagging macro? I don't think there is. I don't think there is. No, no, no there's okay. not. But if there was, that's what it would do. Yeah, and there probably should be. Um, I mean, parenthetically, the um, there's there aren't enough right. useful macros in the core. Okay, so 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 we so in a sense, list links is basically the same as tag. Well, what makes it the same as tagging is the fact that the filter expression you've got there is tag um, to the title of this tiddler. So that's um, in your list links immediately above. Um, it's you can use list links to create a list of any filter. It doesn't right. need to be um, anything to do with tagging. Yeah, okay. So and or tag works. So then there's the tagged. The tagged mm. operator. Mm. Um, or tags, I'm sorry, not tags, tags, tags. Uh, and that's the operator that I wanted to work with if I could find it. I was over in tiddlywiki.com, it was a little easier to find there. Um, over on the right, I can see it. it's just to the right of my cursor, but you can't see my cursor. Down, 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 that right. tag operation. Yeah. Yeah, so what this does is something that may well seldom be useful in ordinary writing. So fill the, what we're looking at here is a filter. Um, uh, in fact, a filter operator, and it's a filter operator called tags. There's dozens of filter operators within TiddlyWiki. Mm -hmm. so these are the primitives that we use to create expressions that generate lists of tiddlers. And the drivers for the filters, that filter operators that we have within TiddlyWiki, um, some of them are um, uh, you know, directly useful and you type them all the time, things like tags and, I mean, ta tag and so on. But... Um, uh, some of them are really there just to support the user interface. So in order for the user interface of TiddlyWiki to be written, we needed this capability. So okay. I can, uh, I can sh actually have a quick search, I think, and tell you which... Yeah, so for instance, where the tags operator is used, um, uh, is part uh, is is used to create the list of um, tags across the top of the tiddler. So, um, as an example, so um, it can be used to retrieve. Um, yeah, in fact, if you search for tags square and then what single square bracket, that's the and you get much bit. And then it's the tiddler ones that you want to look at. Um, so the ones that aren't JavaScript, and so each of those. Are, uh, references to that filter operator. So, so um, the tags operator is part of um, a second motivation for the filters is that gradually we've tried to tried to evolve a complete algebra for manipulating TiddlyWiki's data model. And so, um, some of what you see now in the filter population in TiddlyWiki is us. I'm sorry, in the list of supported filters, um, is us trying to make it more of a complete and flexible language. And as was discussed, it's one of the places where great complexity lurks just beneath the surface. So, but this is a kind of approach that we might, that I would have expected to work. Actually, it shouldn't say tag, it should say tags, right? Uh, I, I, Looks like your square brackets have gone a bit crazy. So you need to you need to have double square brackets at the beginning to introduce, um, and then a close what a single close square brackets after conversation today. No opening bracket before tags. Oh, so I was really close. Um, and then after the word tags, an opening bracket. Um, one oh that so yeah that one extra one now. Uh, one. One more close, one more close. Yeah, and then you need a slash before the close of the list widget because the widgets need terminating. 
So the conversation today doesn't have any tags, um, is why you're not seeing anything there. Uh. It's the tiddly you're on, and it doesn't contain any. But it, um, I think it may be unhelpful looking at the uh, looking at the filters in a way. I mean the the relationships. Um, the available operations are better displayed in the user interface. You know, when you were looking at the info panel, um, that's where um, TiddlyWiki exposes the, you know, properly exposes the um, functionality here. Okay. Um, so, but this is a way to get a list of all the tags that we have that are. Yeah. So, I mean, an interesting, you can easily, for instance, get a list of all of the tags. So say you could get um, a list of all of the tags that are on Tiddlers that have the tag task, mm -hmm. for instance. Um, and you know, you, I'm sure you can imagine why that occasionally would be useful if you're yeah. sort of populating a list. I don't think, yeah, so I, 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 get, I get the sense of it, but then there's the, um, in the old TiddlyWiki Classic, there was a sense that you used to have of here's the tiddlers that are pointing to this one, and then here's the tiddlers that come from this one. Here's yeah, the that are and connected. so now, in, that's, that's in the info panel now. Yeah, and, and that's what I think that we don't see much of. So let me go to hello there, because I think that that's got tags in both directions. On. I think it's this one, right? Yeah. Um, so this tells me these are the things that are tagged with hello there. Right, so this tiddler is going to have a hello there tag. And then where do I see the ones that are pointing to this tiddler? That well, that's, those are the ones that are pointing to this tiddler. So that, that's the list of six tiddlers that have the tag hello there. Right. The converse is actually the list of tag pills. It's the list of tags that hello there has on it. Right. And, where do I, and how do I get this list is what we just showed. That's how we get it. Well, you, you get it right there where your mouse overing. Um, those tag pills are a list of the tags on the tiddler hello yes, there. Yes, but if I wanted to do something with those links, with, those, with that list, if I wanted to manipulate it. Or display it. Oh, I see. Then I mean, it's it's the it's the the um, uh, tags operator that yeah. you need. So it's back to yeah, back to here that you can, oh well. right. So that's so that's why yeah. we want it if we wanted to do something with these tag pills other than just have them sit there. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, exactly, exactly. And, but and I think the the the, the user uh, sticking with the user interface for a second. Mm -hmm. um, a distinction in TiddlyWiki Classic, very intentionally. The list of tags and the list of things that were being tagged. So that's the two lists that we see here, one in the tagging tab, one being the sequence of tag pills. Those were presented on either side at the top of a tiddler with right. the specific intention of trying to encourage the user to see the relationship between them and to use them as a navigation tool. Um, I... For TiddlyWiki 5, it wasn't a big sort of decision, but right at the beginning, I avoided doing that because I was aware that sometimes you don't want it. So sometimes there are tiddlers that you're using as a tag and you really don't want that list always there on the right because, you know, obviously it's visually distracting. So I put it in the info panel um, and thought that maybe we might introduce a way to display it in line. That hasn't happened, but I think that's um, probably tells us that this isn't, I mean, I, I think now how people work, if they want, if you regularly wanted to navigate from hello there, from a tiddler to the tiddlers that have that tag, the obvious thing to do is to create a view template um, uh, so that it's always visible that contains that list and then you can navigate, you can style it appropriately. And so there's a, one of the trade-offs in the TiddlyWiki user interface is this 
very, very strong desire to make the stock user interface be as simple as possible. So it's not the only goal. And obviously, if it was the only goal, we would decide make things slightly different. But um, it certainly tries to avoid intruding concepts prematurely on users, or sorry, um, introducing concepts prematurely. So TiddlyWiki likes the idea that there's a bunch of functionality as a clear user interface for that you can experiment to learn to use. Um, but you have to want to dig deeper. So it doesn't, um, you know, doesn't try to. Um, anyway, so I think we, it's kind of a shame here because for a hypertext course, it's as if what you need is a hypertext edition of TiddlyWiki that absolutely does put the tags, the tagging list in the top right. Because I think in the context of a hypertext course, it's, it's, one of, it's an appropriate level of complexity. Yeah, and I think it's one of those things that, that in the transition from personally, when I went from TiddlyWiki Classic to TiddlyWiki 5, it was, I, I lost that ability to find where it was, and, and that was, I've been missing it. And yeah, well, yeah, I mean, now you've got more than enough skills to recreate it. Yeah, for I, I, see, I just didn't know quite, and that's why I wanted to introduce it. Well, wait, should we do that now? Um, we could, um, oh, excuse me, uh, um, just bear with me. So is it safe to say we can say um, all tags are key fields in the database? Tags are not key fields. Well, if you can use them to sort and list, then technically we can use any We can use any field as a key field in that sense. So yeah. they're just fields. There's a field in a tiddler called tags, and it has multiple values. And I believe the values in the field called tags are stored as a list. That's correct. So in fact, um, in order, it was a point I hope to touch on that um, tags are the reason, the the initial motivation of having support for lists because a you know, the, the sequence of tags on a tiddler is intrinsically a list. So in order to support um, tags, we have to support lists, and we and in fact the implementation of tags is almost entirely about lists. What makes it be about tags is the fact that we're pointing to a field called tags, you know, back to the point we made before that it could be a field called something else. So in terms of fu what's fundamental to the TiddlyWiki design um, is, I think, the idea of lists. Um, and that's subordinate um, to the idea of tags, which are built on top of lists. But in terms of the presentation of the user interface, it's, it's precisely the other way around, of course, um, that we present tags first because they're simpler. Um, and then we encourage people to discover the more complex generalization that lies underneath them. I wanted to see if you could also explore with us here this notion of references that, is, that you find in this. It's incoming links. It's so, so an incoming link, what's the difference between that and a tag? Um, so by link means literally like the links you see in paragraph two of the Tiddler Hello there, welcome to TiddlyWiki and unique nonlinear. So um, those by links, it means um, a manually created links within the text of a Tiddler. So so just so I got it, because I want to make sure people get it. I think I'm right, but I'm not sure. If I click on capturing, that's going to take me to a link. And capturing in its reference field should list hello there. Yeah. OK, so the, the link that capturing took me to is called creating and editing tiddlers. And then in info under references, it should list hello there. Yeah. So these are all the tiddlers that have links to this tiddler in their text. Yeah. In classic wikis, um, they're referred to as backlinks. Mm -hmm. um, might have been better for us to call them backlinks. I thought that references was kind of more civilian friendly. I thought but maybe you it's call them backlinks. Hmm? You do call them backlinks. There's a back internally, link. internally, the, the operator is called backlinks, I think. But, um, the, uh, but the UI avoids the term. Mm -hmm. And so backlinks is very interesting to us as we're building it yet another thing for us to build or to include I mean, and i think in your in, in 
here in your case, backlinks might be an interesting operator to play with because you're going to be talking about building links. Is so, and so this, this shows precisely clicking the same thing as going to the info bar in hello there and clicking on references. Yeah. Okay. Um, and that's all only within the text field, right? Yeah. And it's only, it's only links that have been explicitly authored, um, as in have been typed as a link. So it does not include links that were generated, for instance, by the list links macro. I see. Because it's, it's, it, I see. It basically, the, the, the workflow opens an HTML file, opens a tiddler, looks at a tiddler, says, oh, here's a link, and throws it in the reference field. It doesn't yeah. process the list links and say, oh, these links are going to be there. Hey, exactly. Okay. And so internally, it looks at the parse tree, not the widget tree, which is the rendered tree that includes transclusions and so on. And um, where else have you seen people use references? Because that's something that I haven't talked at all, and I just wanted to introduce it, this concept of references and backlinks. It hardly ever comes up. So it's one of those features that TiddlyWiki needed to have right from the beginning, including TiddlyWiki Classic, in order to be able to call itself a wiki, as far as I was concerned. And, um, uh, and to be clear, tags are not a classic wiki feature. So in a classic wiki, 1996-7, um, backlinks were the way that you serendipitously categorically navigated um, between pages. Um, yeah. So is it reasonable for me to think of Backlink slash references as something similar to tagging in that they look they go backwards kind of thing Yeah, I mean the thing the thing that always strikes me about them is that they're very brittle the points that I mentioned You know the the links that you can have that look like links, but don't get picked up by references So that really frustrates me and makes me not use them very much in fact scarcely ever the, in fact the most useful um, them is in the missing tag tab on the sidebar. Um, so uh, if you go, yeah, clear um, and um, uh, if you go into missing, so if you click on a missing tiddler, the drop down that appears, and I guess don't do, scroll down and do it on not a system one. So if you click on one of those tiddlers, you get it's in italic, it's a missing tiddler, but the drop down that you get is um, a list of all the tiddlers that refer to that one. So for, the, for me, for the specific job of chasing down references to tiddlers that don't exist, I indirectly use references all the time. But otherwise, I don't tend to use them for navigation. I think... Interesting. That, so Kira, this is again where... See, I, think, I told you back things were important. So here's, you're going to be building links to things at a document level, and then when you see that, oh, there's... There's, there's missing, right? I've, I've created the space for this tiddler, but I haven't created it yet. And it tells you what's pointing to it. Interest. Okay, so missing you is basically backwards. Yeah, and I think it's the most useful application because those, of course, it's, um, if you think about it, it cancels out the restriction because if what you're trying to do is to correct or um, change or something, um, links to missing tiddlers, then by definition, you only care about missing links that you wrote. You don't care about missing links that might be generated by some list links macro or something. So it's, it's a use case that cancels out the limitations of the underlying capability. But as I, I think it's not just me. There's references does not, um, hardly gets discussed. So maybe that very few people know about it. Um, stopping for a second, anecdotally, the Within the last couple of months, there was um, somebody in the TiddlyWiki community who, again, is very productive, who's, um, who runs a, um, sorry, who's, who's created um, several plugins that are very popular, um, posted about some quite fundamental, oh, bitmap editing, posted that they hadn't realized that TiddlyWiki supported the ability to edit bitmaps. Mm -hmm. And it was very chastening and interesting for me to discover that there were people who, you know, I have the enormous respect 
respect for the degree to which they understand the internals of TiddlyWiki. And yet, TiddlyWiki is, um, you know, mind-boggling complexity um, <laughs> or level of detail is such that um, uh, that it's possible to know it really well for a year and a half and not to know that it does something really fundamental. Sure, so yeah. on that basis, it might be that the, refer the, the problem is actually that we have given it the wrong name that nobody knows what it's for and it's too inaccessible because you have to tap away to get into the info ta you know info panel to get hold of it so tyler just walked in he'll catch up on the video but we're just just to kind of catch up what we're doing here is just exploring the way that titlers are related to each other um through different references tags and features and so we played with i don't know if you've seen this get info um and there's this tab called references um, that tells you what tiddlers link to this one, which is a cool thing. Um, and then if you wanted to make that list show up in a tiddler somewhere, instead of saying tiddler name references, although maybe references work, it's actually backlinks. It would be easy to make references work and that would be the same. Okay, so um, tagging we talk about, and then we've got list and listed. And so I want to get a feel for that too, because I, um, my sense is that there's a lot of, to the extent that there's any confusion at all that people have looked at it, that there's going to be confusion about list and listed and what that means. Yes. So um, as we established, um, the tags field of a tiddler is a list um, and it can contain zero or more tags. Um, and so that's a convention, as we discussed. Um, it's a convention to treat the field called tags in a special way. And the user interface of TiddlyWiki has been built in Wikitext to support that convention. Um, what TiddlyWiki 5 also does is by convention establishes a field called list that is also intended to be a list of tiddler titles. So unlike tags, well, tags are general purpose. The list field is intended to be general purpose. So it is, the list field is used in a couple of places within TiddlyWiki, particularly in association with tags, but it's provided as a generic capability. Now, as discussed, just as you can create other tags fields, you can create other fields that have essentially the same functionality as the list field, um, but it called something else. Mm -hmm. uh, but again, it, there's this point about um, TiddlyWiki needs to establish the right number of concrete um, conventions to enable the participants in the open source project to collaborate. So one of the critical purposes of the list field um, is around tag ordering. And Steve, I think we might not have left ourselves enough time to discuss tag ordering, which no, is really no. annoying. Yeah, we'll, we'll pick it up at the... the um, could, could we, though? Because, I mean, um, that, for yeah, people sorry. in the future, they would um, see the episodes together and it would make more sense. But I think the um, uh, what we've done so far is we've talked about tags being brought in to copy something that was done elsewhere, an established norm elsewhere. We extended tags with this idea of tagly tagging which turn tags into a much more powerful way of navigating. What we're going to talk about next week then is the rules for the ordering of tags. So, um, sorry, in fact, it's the rules for the ordering of things that have yes. a tag. So if you click on table of contents there, um, the table of contents, sorry, I'm the table of contents tag pill just below the info panel. Um, then you can see that those items about community customers are in alphabetical order. Um, and that's the commonest default that you'll encounter. But the list field, as we'll discover next week, is also used um, to give you precise control over that ordering. So again, it, we'll go into it in more detail, but it's the same kind of pattern once again. We introduce a primitive feature because it's necessary to support the core user interface of TiddlyWiki. We generalize that feature so that what we've introduced is just a specific instance of it. Um, and then we've, in a sense, made it optional. Just as you can use TiddlyWiki without using tags, you can use TiddlyWiki perfectly happily without using the list field. The, um, 
I just want to leave, we have a minute. So you said sort alphabetically, which I think probably made Kira chuckle a bit because she says, yeah, they're sorted alphabetically. I said, no, they're not. They're sorted by something that's not exactly alphabetical, right? Is it, is it the Unix sort? Why? What's unalphabetical? I don't know. What happens if you have numbers in there and that's all the same alphanumeric sort? Um, it's, um, so the sorting that you get is a, is a JavaScript sort. So yeah, it, sort, it sorts digits separately to letters. Oh, but and it doesn't, it doesn't do things like ignore the word the at the beginning of a title, those kinds of things that a kind of human-friendly um, sort would do. Right, okay, but it's, it's okay. Um, so we will put, pick that up with list and listed next week. Um, yeah. I think this is, this is interesting because what it's, what it's really getting at now that people have familiarity with the tagging feature and you know the different actual, you know, there's a facility with the TiddlyWiki knowledge. Now we can we started off by having concepts and applying them to TiddlyWiki things. Now we start with TiddlyWiki things and broaden out the concepts, and that's what we can do in the last couple of weeks. So um, excellent. Thank you very much. Thank um, you, guys. As usual, um, uh, that was great. I shall look forward very much to um, catching up with you all next week. And okay. thanks for your time. Yeah. Cheers, Tom. Bye. Bye. Um, let's stop.